I believe definitely good mathematics is elegant. Good mathematics should be beautiful. Die Mathematikerin Olga Holz beschäftigt sich mit linearer Algebra. Ein Bereich der Mathematik, der immer dann zur Anwendung kommt, wenn ein Computer etwas berechnet. Whenever you have a problem in physics, in engineering, um, it gets linearized typically and then it's solved as a huge linear problem. All theoretical advances in linear algebra may potentially have an impact and some of them have a very direct impact on what happens in these algorithms. Algorithmen sind die Brücke zwischen der Mathematik und der Sprache, die der Computer versteht. Etwa, um solche Zahlenanordnungen verarbeiten zu können. Sogenannte Matrizen. Egal, ob Wettervorhersage oder Verkehrssysteme. Je größer das Problem, umso größer sind diese Matrizen. Und umso besser müssen die Algorithmen sein, damit die Computer mit ihnen umgehen können. Ein Algorithm ist eine Liste von Commands. It consists of a series of commands that are performed in a certain sequence. Sometimes they're looped, so there are, there are criteria how many times you should do something. Um, then out comes a result that solves your problem. And ideally you want to do it as, as quickly as possible, as accurately as possible. The question is speed and the question is numerical error. And you can achieve improvements sometimes only in one direction, sometimes you want to achieve improvements in both directions. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to write an entirely new algorithm from scratch. Eine Möglichkeit zur Verbesserung der Geschwindigkeit von Rechenprogrammen liegt in der Multiplikation von Matrizen. Solche Multiplikationen kommen mitunter zigtausend Mal in einem Programm vor und bestehen aus vielen Schritten. Ein Algorithmus, der für eine solche Multiplikation weniger Zwischenschritte benötigt, würde den Computern enorm viel Rechenzeit ersparen. If you can optimize that and do it not at the current speed and the current speed actually implemented is close to n cubed, n is the size of your problem. One day if somebody can reduce it to the best possible exponent, which is widely believed to be two, you can do matrix multiplication in time of order n squared. I suppose you can do it at that speed. That means every time you perform this small routine or, you know, the routine that is required, it's going to be much faster by this, by this factor, right? That means the whole algorithm will be dramatically faster as a result, because all these subroutines are now, you know, running at this much improved speed. So that's where it becomes a crucial issue. The only counterexample we had so far was not about that. I thought it no, was already the... type... No, 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 no. no. So, type so, 1 so. imposes these conditions. Yes, M and M prime commute plus these... Improvements in algorithms um, by far outperform all improvements in hardware. And the improvements in hardware were quite dramatic over the last 50, 60 years, you know, from the invention of electronic computers, effectively. You know, there was an exponential growth in hardware performance, but there was a super exponential growth, if you will, in, in algorithms, in the techniques that can improve your, you know, all, all these procedures. Intuition is always very important. Um, sometimes it is the only thing that guides you. 99% of our time is spent in pursuit of something that may or may not work. Usually it does not work. So imagine, you know, trying something and failing 99% of time. That's our work. But 1% of time we are right, or however, maybe 2% of time. And this is incredible. When you have a gas, and you tried it from many different directions and it has not worked and then finally you find a new direction and you see how it works. It's, it's just amazing.